we're planning and research. Uh, So, morning. Uh, I've just gone 10, Saturday morning. Um, down at Stickle Path Woods today. Um, you see just there behind me, that's the River Walkham. Um, so Stickle Path just uh, in behind Grenolfen. So yeah, a few tires to do today. Um, you may have noticed quite a big backpack on for a day hike but that will become apparent a bit later. I've got a few new things to try. Uh, also got new boots on, um, they're stiff mountain boots, Mindel, I think you pronounce it. Because um, we've got a couple of trips later this year, one to Wales, one to Scotland. Could well be snowing, one in April, one in September, so thought it would be prudent to get some proper stiff boots, um, proper mountain boots, but I'm only used to material boots. So we'll, uh, we'll see what they're like. I'll, uh, I'll let you know, but so far so good. That's a pretty cool retaining wall. Uh, um, I'll come on to it a bit later. I got, a, as always, a few bits of information for you, but this area was pretty heavily mined. There's three copper mines uh, used to be down here. Virtuous Lady Mine, Walcombe United Mine, and West Down Mine. But yeah, well, uh, well, uh, come on to those a little bit later anyway. But yeah, really, really pretty area. I've not been down here for a long, long time. Lovely, lovely, absolutely beautiful. It's supposed to be dry-ish today until later and then a few showers, but hopefully we dodge the worst of it. Yeah, no sooner do we mention mining, we come across our first real bit of evidence. I was reading up about it last night and um, apparently what they used to do is they'd look for areas that are high in sulfide, um, which is also a big container of arsenic. But where sulfide and arsenic are found, you also quite often find copper and gold. It's also a good indicator. Um, so when they were looking around for the mines, that's what they used to, to look for. Okay, so you can see a bit of a, a bit of a building there, an old structure. And just off of the path, our first tires of the day, Raven Rock. It's pretty impressive actually, pretty big old lump of rock, but we're gonna go up the side there and get up on top. Have a look, shall us? Oh, this is bloody steep. We've got to come back down this way, so just ditch the pack there. And uh might make it a little bit easier, I'll say that's pretty bloody steep. Whew, we made it. Oh, that was a, a side burner. So yeah, sorry, I'm breathing a bit. Just thought I'd mention that of interest as well. Everyone seems to think that Dartmoor is uh, it's all granite, but one, I can't say what I want to say about whoever left that there because so I keep it child friendly, but I think you can probably guess. Yeah, anyway, that's uh, you see this is more slate. 
uh, this raven and rock. All right. And uh, something else I've noticed is the east side of Dartmoor seems to be more limestoney. This is right over the west, slate. And the central lot is granite, but that's a pretty nice view, isn't it? Up on top of Raven Rock. So you can see this is whole stickle path wood in the valley, say with the river Walkham. And down yonder, um, I think probably there-ish, is the River Tavy joins the River Walkham or vice versa. And then carries on as the TV all the way down to Plymouth and the sea. Right, back down the hill. It's just a beautiful, beautiful riverside walk. Really nice path, um, you know, fine for the family, for older people, anyone. It's, it's just easy, beautiful, beautiful place. So, yeah, Bucca tour. Um, Bucca in Cornish is a mythological creature or spirit that inhabited coastal areas and or mines. And like I said earlier, a lot of mines on here, so you never know, Bucca could be here. This also is just down in the valley behind me. It's where the Tavy and the Walkham rivers meet. Um, also known apparently to locals as double waters for obvious reasons. What's got me thinking out where the rivers meet as well? You know, it's say the, uh, the Tavy and the Walkham, but then it turns into just the Tavy. It's a bit unfair on the Walkham, right, isn't it? You know, it's put all this effort, it's come all the bloody way across Dartmoor, Meets another river. Nah, sorry, mate. That's the end of you. You are now the TV. Yeah, a little bit, uh, a little bit unfair, I think. That is pretty cool. A little pass through here. River TV, River Walkham, double waters. So oh, that is Virtuous Lady Crags, um, and they mined here, let me just check the notes, uh, 1558 to 1807, uh, then looks like they had a little break and they come back in 1830 until 1870. So yeah, uh, next we're off to Bowstone Wood Tour, then Burris Tour. Right. Lovely, lovely, beautiful walk this, honestly. All passed, really, really easy walking, right next to the river. Yeah, happy days. And tell me, put me on. Uh, 20 past 11, so we've got an hour and 20 minutes. What's that? Five, six cars, and yeah, beautiful walk. If you, uh, if you like your trees, really, really very woodland this as well. I mean, spotted so far. Ash, oak, hazel, holly, Hawthorne, Birch. Yeah, there's a 
quite a variation here. And I'm sure a lot more of it I can't identify, but yeah, very varied, really, really cool. So yeah, I'm up on top of Balston Woods Hall now. Just thought I'd mention if you are going to do this, this route, and a lovely route it is, but after Bucket Tour, uh, none of this is on the Dartmoor DSX map. So I just screenshotted it. Um, again, the website, Tours of Dartmoor. Really, really cool. All the tours and significant rocks. Oh, by the way, I keep saying it's 886. So on it last night, they updated it. There's another one. 887 we got to do now. Um, after today, I think we're on 83. It's not bad going. I'm um, only doing it for five weeks. So yeah, tours of Dartmoor, please don't add any more until I finish them. You can see just here, that is uh, Lady Bertha Leet, which used to supply Lady Bertha Mines, which apparently, uh, we're not going there, but is one kilometer southwest of here. Um, so that way somewhere-ish without getting the compass out. Right, onwards. Oh, back on, more like a bit of open moor. It's actually, this area is just off of the, the Dartmoor boundary. And you can see it's a definite change in the landscape. A lot more rolling Devon Hills, farmland, plantations, etc. Still beautiful, still really, really beautiful. But yeah, all right, nice big grass path now. Wow, this is Burrator. Uh, not Burrator like a reservoir. This is B-E-R-R-A. -R you can see one rope swing, two rope swing. It's actually a little bit creepy, like a hanging tree or something. But shall we go on the rope swing? Yeah, why not? Unexpected little treat, wasn't it? Rope swing? Happy days, eh? Right, we're now gonna head back across that uh, open bit. We just come through back down into the woods in the valley. So then, quick look around. Um, over that way, that's beer ferrers, beer Austin kind of way. Yeah, so just looking over north over there. That is um, Cox Tour. Then you got Great Staple Tour, Great Mist Tour, Little Bump up there. That is Little Mist Tour. And then this one is a bit closer. That is Pew Tour. This weather is starting to feel like it's on the change. Rain was forecast today. Uh, so hopefully we'll dodge it. old mine cut in here. Pretty cool, eh? You see, don't think that this path is uh, used oh, that often. But pretty cool. Oh, just had to turn around. That path is just, it's not a path. Um, I just turned to absolute bog down there. And uh, in the trees, just you can't get through them. You need a chainsaw. So we're now backtracking. 
Um, I'm gonna go around a different way. Happy days, a few extra miles, eh? All right, in through there, about 200 meters, is Sticklepath Wood Tour. Oh, I'm not going through there. That looks absolutely horrendous. So we're gonna carry on down this track. Um, we might see if we can find Brunel's Lookout. That was the plan today, so but it's off. That's a couple hundred meters into the wood off of the track. Um, and if there's anything like that, then we might be missing it. Oh, take back what I just said. Literally walking up a couple of paces and there's a path leading off in the direction of Sticklepath Wood Tour. So, yeah, we might get it after all. Hopefully, hopefully. Happy days. We got it, we got it. Sticklepath Wood Crags, not Tour, sorry. Um, that's the result. I'd have been a little bit annoyed not to get up today, seeing as uh, we're so close. But yeah, see, never ever. Ugh. Yeah, well, I'm uh, very, very happy with that. Very happy. Right, back to the track and hopefully Brunel's lookout. So, here, boys and girls, is Brunel's lookout. Obviously, back in the, the 1800s, it would have been the shorter trees if not less trees but down through there is the Grenafen viaduct and apparently this is where Isambard Kingdom Brunel himself used to sit to uh, have a look at work check progress and uh, see his, his design for getting built so that's pretty cool isn't it we've been where Brunel has been oh, actually a bit gutted that was uh, it's now raining because what I had planned was to stop here at Brunel's Lookout, get the twig burner out, but I keep trying to bloody use and still haven't got around to it. I've got it with me and wood and everything. Um, we now have something to eat at Brunel's spot because a bit of a Brunel fanboy. Even uh, bought his book uh, with me. I was going to sit there, chill out, read that for an hour or two. But the rain has got other ideas, as per usual. Um, but yeah, Brunel, such a, such a cool blow. You just couldn't do it nowadays, could you? You're not allowed to branch off and do too many things. You've got to stick to one thing, and that's it. Like he built bridges, tunnels, railways, boats, you name it, that man, uh, that man built it. So yeah. Back down onto the path, I think. Back down to the van now. Nearly there. So, happy with that. I think that was just 11 tires. Tires, tours, and rocks of significance, in case you didn't know, um, as listed on uh, Tours of Dartmoor website. Check it out. Again, really, really good. But, yeah, so if that's 83 in total, I'm going to try and pick off a couple of single ones just around near where I live during the week. Next Saturday, I should be able to hit the first 100. And that'll be within six weeks, 100 tyres. Um, which is not bad going, since obviously only walking once a week on a Saturday. But yeah, right, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment, all that jazz. And I'll uh, see you next week, or maybe during the week. Cheers.